Uh, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel today. How you doing? What's up? If you knew, what's up? In today's video, I'm basically going to be showing you guys some uh, brand new Dollar Tree products that I got. Now, you guys know I have been obsessed with Dollar Tree lately and... You know, it's affordable, there's a lot going on, and I figured, why not? Why not shop at the Dollar Tree? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys a Dollar Tree haul on some new makeup products I got, and I'm also gonna be showing you guys a look that I do with these Dollar Tree products that I get. So if you guys are interested in watching that, definitely stay tuned. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Yay! All right guys, so this is my bag of goodies from the Dollar Tree. So excited. These are for later. So basically, I got a whole bunch. <gasps> got a whole bunch of makeup products to try today. So I wanted to try some makeup products. I got a whole different shade range of matte foundations to try, like literally four. I have two pressed products to try and it's pretty much all I found. So I discovered that LA Colors recently I guess extended their shade range and they have all these other beautiful additions of foundations and powders. So I'm so excited about that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this LA Colors smoothing face primer. It's color correcting. This one is in yellow. I don't know why I'm applying this like a highlighter. <laughs> but... Wonderful. A little confused. Color correcting primer. So why the hell is my is my primer this color? What the? F I feel like I'm becoming like James Charles. Hi sisters. Hi sisters. Or am I like Jeffrey Star cremated right now? Like what the hell? All right, I'm gonna work this into the skin and see if the color changes. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I went from like having a nice tan to being pale. Maybe this is like one of those magical transforming primers that it suddenly matches your skin tone. That's not gonna happen. So this is trash. We're gonna act like that primer didn't totally f our face up. So we're going to act normal. So I do have a lot of options of foundations that I could try. So I think I'm gonna try to swatch these three really fast. I'm gonna take this one in Warm Honey. Okay. Not bad. I'm gonna try the other shade that I thought I was, which is... Sand. Warm Honey. Sand. Probably gonna go with sand. I'm gonna leave Cafe for my bronzing or contouring. And I was gonna use a little bit of porcelain, but I was gonna use that for another video idea that I had. If you guys could guess that. Guess it below in the comment section. <laughs> Let's just act like warm honey never happened, okay? So I'm gonna go in with like a little stippling brush or a duo fiber brush and start to blend sand in. What do you guys think so far? I <laughs> like it. Looks really good. I feel like the, the coverage looks nice as well from my viewfinder. <laughs> right, this does look a little tanner, but I'd honestly be a little tanner than that damn primer. Like, actually, this looks really good. What am I talking about? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Moving on. Oh shoot. You know what I just noticed guys? I didn't get a concealer. I tried to look at the improved formula, the color of the new ones, but they only had I think beige and like cocoa. So there was like no sand or anything like that. So I don't know why in my head, instead of just grabbing beige, I thought about grabbing porcelain and mixing it with a little bit of sand. So I'm gonna take some porcelain. That might be too much. Take a little bit of sand. You grab a mirror. Oh wow. This actually looks really good, guys. Damn, this is really nice for a damn dollar. What the hell? Oh, like, I'm dead serious with you. I'm gonna try to see if I can make a custom shade. Wish me luck. All right, so maybe that did something? I don't know. Wait. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Like, what the hell's wrong with me? I don't know if this looks like Donkey Doodle to you guys, but this looks like Donkey Doodle to me. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Honestly, guys, this is a damn disaster. I feel like this is drying down pretty fast. Yeah, I literally feel so dry. Next, I'm gonna go in with the same foundations, but I'm gonna go in with the shade Cafe. Cafe <laughs> Latte. And I'm gonna use this to lightly contour around my face. I have no idea why I wanted to use my fingers, but... I don't know, it feels cool. <laughs> right now I'm getting a little crazy. Perfect. So this is where we are right now. Pretty okay. Not bad. Let's move on to the powders to see if that makes a difference. So I have these two long wearing press powders. I have this one in shade medium beige and I have this one in shade toffee. So I'm gonna use one of these to set my under eyes and the other one to set my face. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I like that they put a little Corona protection over that. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and lightly set underneath my eyes. Awesome. Going with the bronzy shade. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right, All right so, so are we not gonna not mention gonna it, guys? Not, are we not gonna, gonna mention the truth? I look cakier than a birthday motherfucking cake. Happy birthday! Like, what the fuck is this, honestly, guys? Like, from afar, no problem. I have no problems. I mean, maybe when I edit it, it'll look like different, but from any viewpoint, guys, like this. This literally looks very cakey. I think one of the major problems is that my face doesn't really like matte products. I like more glowy products, so I feel like maybe that's why I kind of look like this. When I'm looking really close, like my under eyes, my laugh line, around here. What in the French toast? All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Do I recommend these new LA Color Matte Foundations? No. I do recommend it, however, though, if you're maybe really oily or combo, but if you're dry like me and you have like flaky skin sometimes, definitely avoid a product like this unless you like heavily oil up your face moisturize I think one of the main problems though might have been the primer I feel like the primer was very dry it was very thick and I feel like maybe that created a texture on my face that I really don't like doesn't look horrible will I ever use it again no will I use the matte foundation the sand shade maybe I'll experiment with that in terms of the powders no I'm good I just look crazy but whatever thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you have any other content ideas definitely let me know down below again thank you thank you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time guys bye